Hello, everybody. We are back with some more SimCity. As usual, this is Zephyr and Nick. We've got some more buildings upgrading over on this side of the road, too. We've got this is going in medium wealth as well. They're all medium wealth buildings so far, aside from these three, which are low wealth, which is fantastic. And that's part of the reason we're losing a lot more money than we were. It's because they need to upgrade. Oh, look, another one is, too. This is, this is nice. This city is coming along. I think it's coming along pretty nicely, aside from some of the problems we have that are mostly self-inflicted just due to expanding some things quicker than we probably should have. What do you want, fire department? You're exp you're still dealing with all the fires properly. What are you saying? A large fire station? That now is not the time for it, fire guy. Bus passed you by. It shouldn't. Are you kidding me? It really shouldn't have. We've got enough buses. I'm paying $10 an hour for a sign. I mean. So we're going to have to wait until tomorrow, I think, in-game to realize the true efficient efficiency of this. Actually, no, we're just going to need another another one. There we go. That should be fine. And now we're getting a lot more money from this, too. Fantastic. Fantastic. All of a sudden, we're going to we're going to have an unemployment an unemployment crisis here pretty soon, I think. Simply just do the rate I expanded this at, but as these expand, these should expand too in density. Because it, it kind of fluctuates with demand. It does it more so in the original SimCity. In the original, I mean not the original SimCity, SimCity 4. It tends to do it based off of demand, not necessarily how much it can hold. Like if there's, say if you zone, if all of a sudden there was a demand for 5,000 people and you had... 3,000, I'm sorry, you have 3,000 jobs and like a demand of 5,000. All of a sudden those 5,000 would move in, those 3,000 jobs would be filled and then you'd have to build three, you know, 2,000 more jobs. If you had those pre-zoned, all of a sudden it would build the, yeah, I'm sorry, it would build the amount for that zone. And then, it's just kind of balancing act like that. I explained that terribly, but I hope you guys cut my point. Raises medium wealth land value. Can that go right here? I think that can go right here. That works fine. Oh, it's instantly got an upgrade available, too. So there'll be a lot of medium wealth here, and I actually didn't mean for that to happen. But regardless, Town Hall, name your city. I will in just a second. Give me a bloody minute. All right. Nope, it's not what I meant to do. I thought I, I accidentally hit escape one too many times. And we just passed 10,000 people. And as I thought, we are running low on jobs. Hmm. How am I going to work this? Because I actually set this road up stupidly. I mean, you be quiet little mouse thingy over in the corner you know what it's for the good it's for the greater good that's gonna have to get destroyed sorry game but you're just not doing it cutting it there all right this might be too large of a zone might be too small it's definitely not too small of a zone but it might be slightly too large we need to do that that way we can try and get some more people working down there what are you saying close to the day workers need Oh, the fact that some of them went into medium wealth actually is probably throwing that for a bit of a loop. A lot of medium wealth jobs. Well, it's a good thing we're getting a bit more... I didn't exp I didn't know I automatically did that. There's no one protesting there. It's a glorious sight. Why is the happiness going... Oh, low-tech industrial needs workers. No, it doesn't. No, it freaking doesn't. Stop lying, you sack of shit. So we got 25 grand from not having anything burned to the ground. Brilliant. Now... I'm going to try turning this back on. Because people can get jobs there now. We have enough people. Although I really I really do wish it would tell me who needs to work there. Like, medium wealth, high wealth, me low wealth. Okay, so now it's losing money. It probably will for a time. This is mostly a test. Because I want to see how long it takes for somebody to actually arrive here. Oh, bugger, we're... We need water. No, we don't. How is it pull... Oh. <laughs> that was an oversight. That was a fairly large oversight. This is gonna have to go up here, then. Alright. Pretty massive oversight on my part. That I completely forgot that would be producing a very large amount of pollution. Because, you know, it's an industrial zone. They, they kind of do that. It's their one of their things that they do so absolutely nobody has entered this casino today if nobody comes in here probably by about 9 a.m or noon or once it surpasses over a thousand dollars lost i'll probably just turn it back off 
like I said, largely a test to make to see how this would work. We have like three people in this entire casino. And we're still losing an exorbitant amount of money. But that is simply because there's no one entering there other than those few people. Look at all of those people leaving the city. Holy shit. Where are they going? It's like the mass exodus. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, we're not at a we're not at a point in time where we can turn that on. I don't think. Actually, no, we can't. We cannot. We are gaining <laughs> sixty nine dollars an hour. <laughs> we are gaining a slight bit of money per hour, and garbage is becoming a problem, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that it is indeed. Garbage is overflowing. I set this up like ass. I I tried not to set up like ass, and it became ass anyway. Uh. Sorry, hopes and dreams. Building, you will never become larger than that ever. Let me immediately place an incinerator right where all of your stuff is supposed to go. Simply because the incinerator, that's kind of how you keep control of the garbage. There we go. Can I please? Okay. <laughs> just, just get destroyed. It'll be fine. And we might have actually added far too many trucks. But you know what? That's perfectly fine. I'd rather have too many trucks than too few trucks. They'll definitely be able to gather all the garbage. If I need to, I'll add another landfill there. And thankfully, all the air is just going straight into Midgar. All of the bad air that this city pollutes will not affect here. It will only affect Midgar. Water and power, perfectly fine. Sewage? That will become an issue eventually. Should we just do that right now? Get it out of the way. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's just get that out of the way. We can place that. Not right there. There's nowhere good. <laughs> There's nowhere good we can place this. So no matter what I do, apparently, I just design cities like ass. <laughs> I can't design a city. Although, you know what? This, uh, that'll fit fine there. Screw the water tower. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? I realized we probably could have placed that over here. And it would have been fine to begin with. Anyway, let's turn that off. Reverse the polarity of the crap. Oh, that was probably a bad idea. Probably should have waited for this to come online before I did that. Yeah. I regret nothing. So good, all the crap is moving that direction. And what do we need? We have currently... I can't see my demands. Currently a... Not really many demands. That's odd. We don't have any industrial demand, which I would assume that we would have. What's what's the problem? Garbage creates pollution. I know. That's why I'm trying to collect the garbage, you idiot. Look, we haven't collected a single bit of it yet. For whatever reason. But still, I'm trying... Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Let's make this a bit easier for these garbage trucks, actually. There we go. Let's just connect that right there. That will help them out dramatically. Or it should, at least. Now, I need to take a look at some of the problems we're having right now. Do we ha do we really even have many problems? How's the bus? How are the buses doing? They're probably having a ridiculous wait time on them. Only forty four minutes. That's not that bad. This stretch of road seems to be being used fairly heavily. But this stretch of road is that this actually might prove to be a problem at some point. Might have to connect it at some place. If the bus didn't pass you by, shut up. It is on a bit of a tight schedule though, so I can understand if they did. Now I know there's some sort of way that you can build. Bridges? Is that can I do that here? Can I? Indeed. Why am I building a bridge? <laughs> it's not going to You no, you can't game. You cannot be serious. Good god. Alright, well can however build I hate everything about this game some days. Everything just I hate it. I hate its face. I hate it, The game doesn't have a face, but that's not my point Actually nothing specifically important is gonna go there anyway, so what was raised? Oh, oh, I can build a tunnel Angle too sharp. What are, you, what are you talking about? How can the angle be too sharp? Let me I keep having to move my head to see my keyboard actually. Oh, yeah, that's probably too sharp I can understand that Angle too sharp. There was a magical level where it worked fine. Oh, yeah. That magical level where it works fine is not at all. 
Angle too sharp. You're too sharp. You see, it was working fine. It worked. It would have worked perfectly fine right here. There's no valid excuse to say, oh, your angle is too sharp, because it's not. It's the same bloody angle. Okay. Let's try this again. Roads overlap. They overlap. Bridge! Let's make this as, one as high as we can get, actually. Actually, can I just make a tunnel instead? Guys! We have a tunnel. We have a tunnel! We have a tunnel. Livid Gentlemen, I am naming this one after you, bud. This is Livid Tunnel. For every viewer I see in the comments, I will pick one of you guys kind of randomly to name a spot in the city after. This is all, I'm deciding this now. As my way of saying thanks to supporting this series for so long, because this is my this is my most viewed series. It's the only series I have active right now, but still, it seems to have been the most viewed series regardless, no matter what series I've had running at the same time. I still need to find a name for the city. Hmm. I will... What am I going to name them after? Uh, Bluefer? Bluefar? Bluesar. Uh, I'm just looking at things in my room. Green blue. Bluebrin. 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 Yeah, Bluebrin. It's a city of Bluebrin. That's a shitty name, but you know what? That's the name. I say Bluebrin because I have a blue Yeti right next to me. That's not what I'm recording off it. I'm just feeding my headset through it. And a Brina water bottle. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode. All, we actually accomplished almost nothing. <laughs> At all. Like, this has been very, very unproductive. We built a tunnel. <laughs> that's that, that's about it. And there's someone walking down the tunnel. That's illegal in most places. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all in the next episode.